What's your name's family? Back in the comments for you all. And today I'm going to take you through a high volume leg workout. So currently I'm weighing in around 195 pounds, which is the heaviest that I've ever been in my entire life. Uh, I honestly think that this, the last seven, eight months of bulking have been the most, that, that's the most successful bulk I've ever had in my life. I feel like I've been eating in the constant surplus. I have been training hard, utilizing high volume. My whole workouts are always high volume. Um, my compound movements are going up. I'm getting stronger, getting bigger, and that's what you need to focus on, guys. Today, I've worked with 315 pounds for five sets of seven reps, pausing on the seventh rep every single time. So pausing at the bottom for one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then exploding up. And I think the key that so many people sort of lose sight of is progressive overload. Now you hear that you hear that term progressive overload, progressive overload thrown thrown around so much, but all it means, guys, is if you're 18 years old, 19 years old, you're a freshman in college, and you're, you can bench 225 pounds, you know, 245 on each side for five or six reps, and then two years later, you're still benching 225 pounds for five or six reps. You know that you aren't progressing optimally. You want to take a step back and see what do you have to do, especially on your compound movements, on your squat, your bench, your deadlift, your, your military presses. Uh, and you don't want to be using the same weights that you are now in three, four years. You want to be sure that your form is getting better over time, that you can control the weight better, that you can get more reps, that you can, con it, it's all different forms of improvement. That's all it is. That's progressive overload means improvement, whether it be increasing your weight or using better form, slowing down your tempo. There's so many different ways to actually see this progressive overload, but just focus on getting stronger over time and taking your time and seeing slow, steady progress. You've got so much time, guys. If you're, if you're watching this video, you're probably 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24 years old, and you have a lot of time to train, so there's no rush. Take a step back and be sure your form is active. Be sure your form is good so you can move forward and do it correctly. So five sets of seven. And then we followed that with uh, in place lunges. So where you don't actually, not walk the lunges, you stand, do lunges, I used 35 pounds for 12 to 15 reps per leg, and then moved on to a heavy, heavy leg press. Here we're doing seven plates. Uh, usually I'll use anywhere from six to seven plates uh, on the squat press. In my opinion, the squat press is a little bit easier than the leg press. It's just two different machines. Squat press is slightly, it's a different angle, and size a little bit more in quads. But on the leg press, seven plates, uh, anywhere for 10 to 15 reps. And with this, with the leg press, I really believe that taking a big breath, coming down, exploding up, everything is about breathing, uh, especially on squats, on leg press, on big compound movements like that. So after that, moved on to two hamstring movements. So three sets only, so three sets on the seated hamstring curl, three sets on the lying hamstring curl. On both of the hamstring curls, focusing on pulling my heels up. So just like on a back movement, you wanna pull your elbows back, focus on pulling your heel either back or up, depending on the movement. Uh, three sets of 12 to 15 per leg, and then finish the workout off with six sets of 10 to 12 on the standing calf raise. On the standing calf raise, this is your feet, right? You're coming up. I like to try to almost come up, but keep more pressure on the insides, on, on the insides of your feet. It's gonna help you get a little bit better of a squeeze on your calf. So that's it. We did one, two, three, four, five, six total movements. Uh, that's it for the commentary. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Look who's showing up. <laughs> Today is February 18th, Tim's birthday, 23rd, February, and 20th. So, February. Tim's February. God, thank you. <laughs> February. <laughs> February. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to get Tim some gifts. He's currently, he is sick today, he's got the flu. He had the flu, so he's kind of like coming out of the flu, but he's still sort of contagious, so I told him not to come into work. Uh, so we're gonna give him some gifts. He's coming in around five, just stop by for a little bit. And yeah, so Javon came with Tim to the mall the other day, and apparently he liked a pair of shoes, some fly knits. So we're gonna get him those. I'm thinking a cookie cake, or maybe like some sort of cake. And yeah, if we see, if we see anything else, we'll get that for him. But I think he's 25, 24. 25, I think. 25? Yeah. Dang, 25. Dang. <laughs> Dang, I didn't know he's 25, really? 25. So, let's get it. So you can't walk past it? Is it possible? Wait, what's today? Uh, Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. They get new stuff on Tuesdays. Oh, so it is possible for you to walk past it. Because I don't think it's possible for you to walk past it. Look at her. Oh, I oh, oh. It's calling me. What? 
Because you know the clip's gonna be like, but you can't walk past it, but you can't walk past it. Boom. <laughs> it's gonna be me walking out with the back. <laughs> All right, so these are like my favorite shoes ever. And Tim wants to get a pair of racers. And when he came to the mall with Javon, he said that he liked this color last week, right? Yeah. So we went to one store already. They didn't have a size. I'm hoping that that's that's the issue with like get, going to actual stores. They never have the freaking size. Cool. But he's a size eight, so I'm gonna see if they've got this pair. Do you guys have this thing in eight? We're 0 for 2. We've got two more stores to check here. Really hope they have a size. Just one quarter? Same. Tim, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. We went to five stores. I thought there was four. There's five stores. We're 0 for 5. We even tried to get like a different pair, a uh, really cool Hirachi, is that how you say it? Hirachi yeah. pair. And they still didn't have it in your size. So I think we're going to get you a gift card. But it'll be good. From Aldo. Let's, let's get it. Um, 25, right? We said it was 25? Yeah. yeah. 25, man. Got many more to go. Proud of you, proud of what you've accomplished so far. You're a great dad to your daughter, everything like that. So just enjoy your birthday and we'll hang out this I'm sorry weekend. Sorry about the shoes. Oh, sorry about the shoes. Yeah, we tried, man. But yeah, hope you enjoy it. Have a good time this weekend, too. I'm back and see you guys, Mama. <laughs> we're just, Mama. Throughout the whole video, we're just getting food the whole time. <laughs> Nikki, do you have anything to say, Tim? Um, happy quarter century, Tim. You know, 25 years. It's a great age. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to let Bye. And uh, I'm excited about the cookie cake we're gonna get you. The cinema lady thinks Javon's really cute. Natural <laughs> <laughs> habitat. <laughs> oh my god, I feel good. They're like hot. Oh, okay. they're so warm. <gasps> wow, look how soft that is. Please just dip it and eat it. Ready? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Can we get six more of these right now? We literally got what to put to. Went to Cinnabon to come and eat Cinnabon. That's <laughs> GAF, man. Dang. So good. You know what that means, GAF? Good as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Jones. Uh, I'm just going to. I'm going to. April. That's all I'm going to say. Never ends. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those days. To get the gift. Those are the best cinnamon balls I've ever had in my life. <laughs> those are the best balls. Cinnamon balls, balls in my life. Yeah, the best balls I've ever had. Are you okay sitting here by yourself? They were so good. Big ass camera. All right, guys, we are here at Grimaldi's. Uh, I've been here a few times before. It's a really good pizza place. Uh, honestly, running really low on energy. Haven't really eaten other than like a few snacks here and there. So it's about 2.30 right now. And Javon's getting his phone fixed at 3 at Apple. So we got Tim that gift card, which is in Nikki's purse. We have to get before Tim comes. Oh, my gosh. All right, <laughs> we have to do that. We're going to eat first, fuel up, and then take on the day. Show you what we get. What? Uh, yes. Yeah. You can take it. Thank you. All right, guys. So we got we each got a pizza, personal pizza, freaking massive. Uh, I got a down here pepperoni with red onion with extra mozzarella cheese, and Javon got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> What'd you get? Um, grilled chicken, bacon, mushrooms, red onions, and green pepper. Dang. It's loaded out. So, would you guys prefer a simple pizza, like pepperoni and onion? I would put pineapple on it too, but they don't have pineapple. Or like a loaded out pizza. What do you prefer? We're gonna enjoy it, and then take the rest of the day on. Dang. <laughs> Shout out to Civil Wars. <laughs> Javon's phone is finally fixed. Feels like it's been forever, it hasn't been that so long. Finished up eating and went to the Apple store to fix my phone because it's just been chipping out since I got them to replace it. And ran into a subscriber, his name's JJ. Happy birthday to you. Woo. Dang, that's a 
some big wins. <laughs> you cheese it on me. Alright, we got you something, man. Javon, I've been... I got you this, bro. I got you this movement watch. Ooh, wow, that's beautiful, bro. No, he didn't. No yeah. sense in me. He's freaking high in that. You know that? Yeah, remember when... You got when I gave you on that hat? Yeah, yeah it didn't tell anyone, man. Alright, what's in? This is from the team. Bro, we went at like five stores looking for this. Really? Why did racers? And then, oh, yeah. The yeah, one, yeah. yeah, bro. You don't have to give me anything. Read it, read it. Come on, love of shoes. You're stuck. It's gone. Thanks, bro. I'll shake y'all's hand. I remember we can go maybe tomorrow and get some shoes from the weekend. Damn it, bro. All right, guys, workout time. Everyone, pre workout here, which tastes disgusting because we mixed. You know, Sean, we mixed what? This, Noctival. Well, this is a bad taste. You know? <laughs> this does not taste good. Limitless is pretty good. It's still, it, it tastes okay. But taking like three quarters of a scoop of Limitless, one scoop of Noctival, which is it's a pump product. And uh, these are Ariana's awesome pants that we all like a lot. And nice. we're about to hit, oh, shout out to Max Tuning, my good friend over in Washington? Yeah, Washington, Virginia. <laughs> My good friend. <laughs> I was going to say D.C. in Washington, Virginia. Ever forward. Send me some stuff. And uh, rocking it proudly today. We have shoulders, biceps, and abs today. That's what we're hitting, bro. Shoulders, biceps, and abs. All right? Let's do it. Let's get a sick edit. Let's get it going. Three. <laughs> Charlie's getting pissed. Uh, we're playing 2K, but the game is downloading. It's like 86% copying game. Some features will not be present, so we can't figure out how to make like the TV broadcaster talk. The sound. The sound. Like it'll play music, but it's kind of weird playing music. So there's no like commentary to it, and we're just playing in silence. But, uh, <laughs> started out the game losing by nine points, zero to nine. But now right I'm, I'm uh, up by one point. Ooh. But we're only playing the halftime because it's six minute quarters. So I think Charlie's got like four minutes to to come in and kill me. Charlie, make this, you win the game for sure. Look, I'm up, guys. You should follow him, bro. Oh! Fuck. Call timeout, call timeout, call timeout, bro. Call timeout! What are you doing? Oh! Oh! Yes. oh. Bro, you still had time! You still had time! You still had time! Had time. <laughs> bro, Oh my god. Dang, how much time was there? You had like, like a second. I thought, I thought, like there's no seconds. volume. I thought the buzzer was off, bro. No, you had time to still shoot it. And you, you were wide open, too. <laughs> no. Damn. Damn, man. <laughs> it was close. I would have to question my 2K skills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, to clarify what happened, six seconds left. I get the ball. All right, five, four, coming up. Three, LeBron's got the ball. Two, going for the dunk or layup. 
I missed it, and I was like, oh, because there's no sound on the computer, there's no sound on the TV, right? So I'm like, oh, I dropped my controller, oh, I lost. But I had one and a half seconds left, so I had the ball again, and I was wide open right underneath the courts. I could have shot it in and won after my missed shot, but there's no sound. I threw my controller down like a noob, and I lost. Two, three, bro. Bro, you really gotta drain the clock? You two out, you two out, I need you oh. now. Yes! Oh. Oh. All right, I got time out. Fifteen seconds, my ball. I'm down by one. What you got, bro? What you got, bro? That was a win. Sixty-one is fun, man. Damn, man. So I guess we'll have to have our uh, two out of three game next time. Look. I'm a sore loser right now. <laughs> I was a sore loser first game. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I know I already said goodbye, but I played one more game. I had to show it. So I'll see y'all tomorrow.